Oh. Good morning, future self. Um, I realized just now that I have never shown you the current studio configuration. Um, so my studio is 165 square feet. It's this tiny little room in the basement of my house. Um, and in it I do all of my AR, my videos, my drawings, my clothes, sculptures, um, my sketchbook stuff. Uh, all that stuff happens down here. The only thing that doesn't happen in this studio is the VR work, which happens in upstairs in our uh, office. Um, and that is because this room is unwarranted, which in San Francisco is very common. It's just like, somebody put an extra room in their house and didn't get a permit. And that means, uh, in our case, that the ceilings are pretty low. Camera rig being on the ceiling. Um, the ceiling being low means that it's very hard to do VR in here because you constantly like hit your hands on the ceiling. But the ceiling being low actually makes it kind of helpful for doing ridiculous rigs like this one. Uh, okay, so studio tour. Let's start over here. This is all storage, um, past project storage and sculptures that I haven't found somewhere to put yet. Um, plus, ooh, plus some sort of like current things I'm working with, sticker packs and my paper cutter. Uh, the next shelf down is my uh, notebook storage. So these are all of my Amnesia Diaries notebooks. Um, plus some sort of like stuff I'm working with, pencil shreddings and tissues and uh, instruments. And then um, around on the other side of the shelf is like sort of sound equipment storage uh, for working on the computer. On the table, let's see, I have so much stuff on this table. I'm just putting scissors away as I go. Uh, underneath those shelves actually is my giant computer with its giant pile of beautiful graphics cards. Oh yeah. I inherited this computer after the lab shut down. Um, let's see. So on top of the table, these are all my drawing materials, tapes and markers, and more markers and paint pens and scissors, pencils, uh, fine liners, stencils, glue, uh, straight edges, tweezers, that kind of stuff. Uh, this stuff goes in here. Box of crayons, box of stickers, and paper I'm currently working with. Uh, tape, pile of post-its, keys and stuff. And this is my sort of like working area. Uh, stuff I'm currently working on goes in here. And let's see, what am I currently working on? Uh, coloring in. Uh, I made myself a little adult uh, coloring book with a book of Dore illustrations that I found. Uh, at the giant library book sale here in San Francisco. Uh, water bottle storage, very important. Okay, let's go around this way. Door, of course, like a lot of surfaces are drawing storage. This wall always is blank. I don't know why. I think it wants to have a sculpture on it or something. It's the boring blank wall. Behind the door is all my flat storage. Um, actually, I have a long-term flat storage uh, in our garage workshop, I have this flat file, um, and we found this used. It has like lots and lots of drawings and stuff, paper and stuff in it. Um, oh, and I found a dogit. I store a dogit in here. Uh, so yeah, this is all my cutting boards and drawing boards and paper and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the printer, which just recently moved into the studio, it was, used to be upstairs, but I didn't use it enough, uh, and I felt like it would have a better home down here. Um, that's the novel I'm working on, my laptop. This is a giant pile of paper. This is a recent addition, as of like two days ago. Uh, it used to be in the closet over there, behind the air mattress, which I'll show you in a second. <laughs> Um, but I needed the box that it was in because I was storing my project in this horrible cardboard box. I was storing masking machine in here and that was a terrible idea. So I changed it to this like hard plastic box, um, which is a much better idea. I don't know where it is right now. I could show it to you. So this is a built in uh, sort of bench slash shelf thing. Uh, and that is where I store um, 
my Bed Art Manifesto series. Um, these sculptures, let me grab one. These are all sort of like soft pillow sculptures. Uh, this is a project that I applied to the, uh, oops, the Santa Fe Art Institute residency last year with. Um, and they are going to soon be turned into accessories that you wear in your clothes so that you always have pillows with you so you can make anything comfortable because guess what? Some of us are cripply. So yeah, that's where those are currently stored. Um, more drawings, sculptures uh, from a few years ago hanging here. Um, the problem with making sculptures is that they don't flatten. You can't put them in the flat file. Um, blankets and stuff for when guests come because this is also our guest room. They just sleep on the floor on their mattress. Um, let's see, let's go this way. More sculptures and drawings. My circulation fan. This is San Francisco, so it's very, very humid. Uh, so I have to constantly <laughs> dehumidify and defunk the basement. Um, sculpture. These are pieces that will become sculptures and are not currently sculptures. Um, more storage. Drawers. Oh yeah, more equipment. Well, that reminds me I need to buy hot glue. Um, big paper storage. These are all unused, currently unused notebooks. Um, oh look, there's my master's degree. Um, sort of a, a small selection of my other pencils and brushes and stuff that are currently being used. And then everything, so here's the ironing board. Uh, my most recent pants that I made. Um, this, these black shelves down here that are behind the ironing board are all, um, so fabric, 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 and then these two down here are camera equipment. Um, and let's see what else. So, okay, in this corner, let me back up a little so you can see. Uh, so we've gone around the corner, my little window, around, more sculptures, stored, plus drawings. Um, so this is my sewing table. So underneath the sewing table there's fabric recycling, uh, thread and buttons and stuff. There's some fabric in there. Just piles and piles of fabric everywhere. Uh, fabric paints and scissors. This is my serger and this is my sewing machine. And these are like snaps and, you know, all kinds of different storage stuff. And then this is my doll, which is very lumpy and strange because I've modified it a bunch of times to be more my shape and to have shoulders that are the same width as my shoulders, things like that. Uh, very helpful object. <laughs> Extremely helpful for making outfits because I don't use patterns at all and... I can try them on over and over again, but it's very hard to modify clothes while you're physically wearing them, so this doll is very useful. Uh, this was a present from Steve a few years ago, and it rolls around. Um, oh yeah, this is uh, from grad school, this picture, uh, from a video game I made in grad school. Um, so yeah, now we're back looking this way, uh, pillow storage, other paper storage and stuff, glue. Um, my giant uh, line conditioner, um, the power down here also because this is not uh, warranted, like permitted, the power down here is not grounded so we have this like special thing to protect my computer. Um, this is my loom, uh, it hasn't been used recently but I do really like working on it. Um, I have a few pieces upstairs um, that were made on the loom. Um, so yeah, we're coming around to my computer screen, my giant computer screen and my adjustable height desk so you can sit on the floor, you can stand, you can kneel, you can pet a pooch, 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 pooch. And then the last thing to show, oh yeah, this is a vintage 60s dress that I dearly love the look of but cannot wear because it's basically made out of plastic and it's horrible, the texture's horrible. So it's now an art. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so this is an air mattress. Uh, it it is a foam core air mattress, so it has to be stored inflated, so we store it up right here. Oh, here's one of the... <coughs> Dusty! Uh, here's one of the weavings I made. So we're gonna go in the closet! Um, the closet is around 20 square feet of the total space of the studio, which is 165 square feet. And there are sculptures stored in here. And there are giant, there, that's a box of sort of like, um, objects, 
knickknacks and stuff. Um, these are binders for my uh, Misha Diaries, um, green screen, more fabric, more paper. Um, this is an air conditioner, um, which is not usually needed, but when it is needed, um, this thing is a lifesaver. I cannot be exposed to very much heat, and so this thing, uh, if it gets over 90 degrees in San Francisco, which is rare, uh, but unfortunately it does happen, that thing gets pulled out. Um, so let's see, this box is storage for, um, garments that I have made but no longer wear. Um, and then there also, here are some hanging here, it's like more fabric. Um, old pieces of mine that are like on paper rolled up and then these are several garments that I have made and don't wear um, but plan to either modify or wear on special occasions things like that and then up here is like pillow storage these are photographs my family gave me uh, things like that magazines uh, fluff so yeah there's just a lot of random stuff in here uh, this is actually the best I've ever found configuration I've ever found for this closet Mostly because <laughs> uh, my mom came this summer and helped me like clean it out and uh, sort of organize it and stuff so that it was more useful before I just never used it for anything. So yeah, that is the tour of my tiny 165 square foot uh, tiny teensy little studio. Um, when you have no room, you really learn how to maximize it, so. Bye, future self. I hope you make another video if you completely reconfigure the studio again, which this is not the only configuration it's ever been in, so. Bye.